Hi folks, thanks so much for popping in. Uh, this video is going to replace the uh, open evening on the 28th. Sadly, we can't have a street party again this year for obvious reasons, but uh, the exhibition will be open from tomorrow, the 26th through until the 2nd of January. So if you can pop in and see them in the flesh, all the better. They are available online right now. So you can see those and nab one if you like it. Um, I hope to see you between Christmas and New Year. If I don't, have a fantastic time. Have a wonderful 2022. And thank you so much for making this year yet another incredible year for the Harbour Gallery. Um, and hopefully see you very soon. Have a great time. Bye bye. OK, folks, so I'm going to kick off with this whopping great Julian Mason. Late May, Garens. What this guy does with contrast and, and light is extraordinary. There you go, there's Port Scatho coming all the way back. And we're there at Port Beer, yeah, I think. Really lovely angle that actually most people you don't see that angle too often it tends to be scanning the other way absolutely gorgeous and that's a really nice size painting all the sizes are on the website just beautiful look at that Port Scatho white sands as we call it the uh, southwest from Pendower. This is a landscape piece. There it is in all its glory. Let's go in on a bit of detail. Those iconic Pendower beaches with the uh, deciduous forest that sometimes appears here at low tide. Dog walker, it looks like there, or certainly a walker. Really lovely. So there are two paintings by Julian Mason. Let's slip down now and have a look at Stephen Hickton. So this is the first of two Stephen Hicktons. Again, we've got Pendara Beach, it's called Calm. Goes across to Calm Beach on the far side there. And again, the lovely river that drives in. Dog walkers. And Stephen's iconic brushwork, this pixelation he uses, which still manages to get the energy there of the clouds and the sand. Really clever paintwork. There you go. All the prices and the sizes, or the sizes at least, the prices there, are on the website. On this gorgeous painting of between Port Scatho and again. White Sands, the walk around to Pendower Beach, there it is in the distance, on a beautiful summer's day, where the eye draws you into the centre of the picture with the footpath. Quite incredible. There you go. Let's move on to our next exhibitor, which is the inimitable Claire Henry. This one is the light across Gerrans Bay. Just 
it's beautiful the way she captures that sparkling waters around Gold Rock. Foreground flowers. Very special. And heading back Gerrans Bay is her other work. Both the same size. So this will be on the way between St Anthony and Port Scatho. Coming back past Looks like Peter Splosh Beach. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a bit further around. Could even actually be the end of Talon Beach, I suspect. Again, magnificent detail in the foreground flowers. Really gorgeous. Lucy Davis has done some really stunning, again, walking to Port Scatho, the coast path along from St. Anthony. Peter Splash, Breakneck Beach, these areas. With those glorious Lucy Davis, iconic Lucy Davis colours. Just fabulous. Seems so impossible, those colours, and yet exactly what it's like within itself in the painting it just works so beautifully and this one of gold rock there it is in the background although I could have got the uh, the names mixed up here so don't quote me on that go by what's on the website not what I'm telling you here because I might, this might be walking to Port Scatho and the other one, Gold Rock, given that Gold Rock's very small in this one and larger in the other. I imagine I've got it the wrong way around, but at least you can see it in detail. So do check on the website for the right names. So there we are, two absolutely stunning Lucy Davis paintings. Jamal Akib has painted two really lovely moments in time. This one of people playing cricket on Porth Kernick Beach. amazing palette knife work with some stunning colours. Breaking through from the background like the pinks here and the blues adding that real beautiful reflection of water that we all know so well and the other payment is, I think most people will know, having a little pasta donata at Tatum's and a nice cup of coffee. Once again, captured a, a really lovely moment at the cafe there. This couple with their Labrador. A 
if that happens to be you or someone you know, do let us know. Be interesting. So there we are. Jamel's entries for this year. Andrew Allenson has really smashed it out of the ballpark with this whopping great painting. A Brilliant Day, as it's entitled, which of course it is. Of the water coming up across what looks like Pendawa Beach. Khan in the background and the Nair Hotel. All these glorious streaks of rain or sunshine glaring down over Nair Head. A scene we all know oh too well. And those reflections, aren't they just astonishing? Really clever painting. Nice rain cloud in the background there. Very, very beautiful. And his second painting here, Pendower, first thing in the morning. A view I know too well. If any of you watch my morning videos with my dog going down onto the beach each day. Although to be honest, this morning she didn't want to go anywhere. She's not awfully good in the rain. She just sits down and won't go anywhere. Stubborn lady. So there we go, Andrew Allenson, two magnificent works, sizes and everything on the website, but that is quite a big, it's got to be 80 centimetres at least, I think. And to finish off the exhibition, we have the inimitable Ben Taffender. These cattle paintings sell in a heartbeat, so if this interests you, please move fast because it's always so disappointing when you miss out on a painting. It's an incredible palette knife work that he gets. So clever, but it almost looks abstract when you get up close. When you pull away, it all falls into place. A little calf there. Oh. It's a lovely painting. And the second, an absolute corker. Look at the sunlight on that. A view almost from skyward looking down upon the little lookout Pendawa. Oh, sorry, Porth Koenig. Gold rock in the background. Near head, Pendawa Beach just out of the picture. Both Koenig, absolutely glorious ochre colours. He really does get some exceptionally beautiful colour schemes in his work. So creamy and luscious. So there we are. Oh, sorry, put my finger over it. 
the last of the exhibition pieces, Ben Taffender. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. As I say, we're open right through from the 26th to the 2nd of January. And we have a little treat for you in the new year. So stay tuned.